Okay, so what we're going to do here is take a look at a few troubleshooting steps if you're having some problems with Splashtop uh, making the connection back to the PC station. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is to make absolutely sure that you are connected to the same network on both systems, on both Android and Windows. So let's get, take a look at an Android and see that we are connected to the same network. In Android, we can go ahead and click on the notification panel here in the bottom right corner. And up here, we're going to have the Wi-Fi status. So let's go ahead and click in that space, and that'll bring up our settings, uh, our Wi-Fi settings. So here we can see we're connected to video room 5 gigahertz. So let's go ahead and switch over to Windows and make sure that we are connected to the same network. In Windows here, we can see by clicking on the little Wi-Fi symbol on the system tray, we are connected to video room 5 gigahertz. So there is step one. If you had some problems making the connection, go ahead and try to reconnect the splash top right now. Okay, so another part that we're going to look at is the splash top app in Android. And we're going to go ahead and make sure that it's configured correctly. So how, the way that you can do that is by going into the app drawer, which is located on the top right corner of the Android desktop. We'll go ahead and click on that, and that'll bring up the list of Android apps that we have installed. Uh, you're going to go ahead and look for splash top, which is the multicolored icon. It'll be listed alphabetically, so let's find it right here, and we'll go ahead and open it. And this is going to go ahead and uh, open up that splash top app. So it's what it's going to do is show us all the computers on the network that we may be able to be able to stream Windows from. And um, one of the first things that we're going to go ahead and do, if you had any troubles connecting the splash top, is we're going to go ahead and refresh it up here in the top right corner. Um, this little middle button, we'll go ahead and click it, and it'll go ahead and look at look over the network and refresh and find any PCs that have the splash top streamer that we just configured in Windows. So once that's done, uh, one more thing that you can do is going to be to make sure that the security code matches. If you remember earlier in the video, we created a security code um, in Splashtop so to make sure that uh, it is going to be only us that's allowed to connect back to the Windows PC station. So let's go ahead and click on this little pen on the right corner. And that's going to bring us the configuration screen. And here is the security code. So we're going to go ahead and re-input the security code that we had originally created during the splash top setup in Windows. If you remember, that was test1234. So we've gone ahead and done that. And let's go ahead and click Done. And now that we have refreshed and that we've entered the security code, let's go ahead and try to connect back to Windows. So let's go ahead and click on the computer that's found automatically here. And there we go. We're connected back to Windows. OK, so one last thing that we're going to take a look at is the splash top streamer in Windows itself. Um, say you had some kids playing on the computer, someone else, maybe someone closed out the streaming service for some reason. We're going to go ahead and show you how to make sure that it is still running. So in the bottom right corner of the screen here, um, we're going to have all our applications or uh, programs that are running in the background. We're going to go ahead and click this little arrow to show them all. And we're going to see one of these right here is the Splash Top streaming service. So if you don't see this, what you're going to want to go ahead and do is in Windows 8, you can go up to the top right corner and go to the search. And you're going to go ahead and type in Splash Top. And from here, you can go ahead and reopen the streaming program. And that'll go ahead and reopen it. Um, if for whatever reason you felt like you want to restart the Splash Top streaming program, what you can also do in the bottom right corner here is right click on the streaming service and click on exit. That'll go ahead and shut down the Splash Top streamer. And from there, we can go ahead and reopen it by searching for Splash Top, hitting enter, and as you can see, it has started over again. So now that the streamer is running, let's go ahead and one more time, go ahead and disconnect the tablet. It'll pop over to Android, open up Splash Top, and try to make the connection back to Windows. And there we go.